Hi folks, I'm Scott Mason. Mother Nature makes trees in every size, shape, and color imaginable. Now watch as I show you some easy techniques for making great looking trees for your model railroad. Uh, I'm going to show you how to work with the uh, sagebrush material and the super tree material to create some great looking trees. Now uh, this is a larger tree. This tree would probably be great for O scale or even some of the larger scales. But you can take this material and cut it down to make HO trees. And I'll show you um, some examples of that later on. What I've done with this tree right off the bat is I've given it uh, a good spray of the um, 3M spray adhesive. And what I want to do now is take super tree material and start cutting off some branches that I'm going to attach to the sagebrush. This is somewhat brittle material, but it's pretty much all usable. There's not a lot of waste with this, which is great because it's not cheap. Uh, so it does go a long way. So I'm just cutting this in advance. And then what I want to do is just press it up against the branches. And this is kind of a step one. This is a two-part process, and you'll see where I go with this as we continue. And once again, no real pattern of um, you know, why I'm working in the direction that I am. Doesn't really matter as long as I get coverage. But I want to work my way around the tree. These make great looking um, oak trees. And they also make, if you're inclined to do so, a great looking dead tree. Uh, just leave them bare and, and plant them on your layout. So I'm working around this tree. And I'm going to go through a lot of the super tree material. And once again, I'm not wasting any. And the reason I can get away with using some of the not so great looking pieces is because this is all going to be covered by leaf material when I'm done. Okay, I've got a tree here that, that I've put all the super tree material on already so we can move forward. And you can see uh, how much this is filled out. You can, um, it's, it's obscured a lot of the branch material underneath and that's exactly the look that I was going for. And now what I'm going to do is take some of the spray again and coat the tree. And then take some of the leaf material and just coat everything. And the excess will fall off into the pan. And I want to make sure I get the tops and the sides as well as underneath. This will dry perfectly and give a real nice leaf appearance. These are really impressive trees. And then I just want to shake off the excess and I'm going to put that aside to dry. And here's an example of one that I did with just a little darker leaf color. Here's an example of uh, some super sage with some super tree material and some leaf material on an O-scale diorama. Folks, I've just showed you some easy ways to make some great looking trees using some basic homemade and commercial products. Now it's your turn to go out and put some wonderful looking trees on your model railroad.